Cats with Cape Breton West Islanders joining me here. Adam, let's uh, talk about uh, the start to the season right now. It's, it's, uh, we're into October, we're getting a little later in October, but uh, tell me about the team's start. Uh, the team, we're getting going, right? But some a little shaky in some areas. The defense got to move the puck, the forwards got to skate in a bit more, generate a bit more offense, and I think we'll pick it up. Yeah, last year you played in the, in the minor midget league with the, the Highlanders. Uh, didn't make the West. Uh, tell me a little bit about the disappointment uh, and being set down, and of course you were busy in, with the Highlanders. Now, well, coming up in the first year midget last year, coming off of Banner Bay, I wasn't really prepared for uh, playing major midget quite yet, so I think playing the Highlanders really prepared me well. Extra shots I got for this year. Sure, I was disappointed at the start, but in the end, everything worked out. Five games, 50 plus shots. Uh, tell me about the player that you felt you became, developed into over the course of the season. Uh, over the season, I, I really got into doing warm ups before the game there. Uh, a lot calmer in the net, making better plays, started playing the puck. I got to came more of a team player and a bit less self centered. A little less self-centered. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, expand on that. Tell me um, more about that. Back in Van Bay, right? It was low level, and I was doing all the summer camps, right? So I was hoping to play Van double that year. When I got cut from that, I was really down, but I still thought I was the best. And then during the season, I was just carrying the team by myself, so I wasn't really much of a team player at the time. But then once you move into midget there, and all the higher shots come on. You gotta learn to work with the team, work with the boys. You've learned how to be, become a team player and the importance of that. Can you can you speak to that? Well, everything's about the team now. Everything you do, you work for the team, you work for the logo, and the name on the back could not matter less. What do you want to accomplish this year? Uh, this year I'm hoping to get notes by some scouts, move on high level hockey next year. Hopefully, Junior A at least, eventually move on to Division One college hockey in the United States. Yeah, he, um, he had an excellent camp with us. Um, played last year minor division with the Cabin Islanders. Um, you know, he, he really developed in that league. He was seeing close to 67 shots a game. And, you know, when he came into camp this year, he made it uh, tough on us not to cut him. And, uh, you know, he, he earned the spot here. And uh, so far, he's played very well for us. He's a goaltender that's, um, you know, very confident. Um, Tremendous work ethic, and that's what uh, you know. I like to see in, in a goaltender. He tells me he has become a team player at one point. He was very selfish in his career. Can you can you speak to that in any way? Um, I, I, maybe he took it a little too upon himself, or maybe he kind of blamed his teammates. Maybe once, uh, maybe in the last couple of years or something. Um, I haven't heard too much about that, but uh, maybe he's taken some onus on himself for uh, you know just trying to be better and trying to be a better teammate. So um, I certainly like what I, what I see from him. All right, now, uh, of course, uh, he's hoping to accomplish a lot this year. What, what, what do you see as uh, just goals for him? Yeah, um, I, I think he could, you know, certainly get some looks in the, maybe, you know, in junior somewhere. Um, he's came such a long way, you know, he never played AAA right. coming up, really. Um, and then he's just kind of one of those late bloomers that you see so much of nowadays. Um, and, you know, with the, like I said earlier, with his uh, excellent work ethic and attitude, he, you know, I, I can definitely see him being at least junior boy somewhere in the